So let's move to these steps where we are going to stage the periodontitis case into stages one and two versus stages three and four. If clinical attachment loss is greater than five millimeters, or if the bone loss affects to the middle third of the root or beyond in more than two adjacent, non-adjacent teeth, the diagnosis is either stage three or four. If clinical attachment loss is five millimeters or less in fewer than two teeth, we should look at the furcation lesions, degrees two and three. If these are present, the diagnosis is either a stage three or four. If absent, we should check probing pocket depths. If these are greater than five millimeters in more than two adjacent teeth, then the diagnosis is either a stage three or four. If probing pocket depths are between three and five millimeters, we should assess the cause of tooth loss. If there is tooth loss due to periodontal reasons, then the diagnosis is either a stage three or four. If not, the diagnosis is a stage two or one. Regarding pocket depth, clinical judgment should be applied to use this criterion to upgrade from stages one and two to a stage three. For example, we need to ascertain whether this pocketing is due to the presence of pseudo pockets or to the presence of real pockets. And if pocketing is due to pseudo pockets, then the periodontitis case should remain as a stage two. So basically, in this step, what we are going to evaluate starting from clinical attachment loss and bone loss, uh, those situations where the stage two may be upgraded to a stage three due to issues related to complexity. Basically, the presence of furcations, the presence of intrabony defects, or the presence of tooth loss due to periodontal reasons.